Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Hope that all of you are fine and in good health. So uh, we are going to start this online lecture process. And uh, my first lecture would be about the start of chapter number 4. And that is curve fitting and interpolation. So first of all, what is curve fitting? And why do we do that? And uh, what are the applications? So, curve fitting is the process of constructing a curve or a mathematical function which possess closest uh, points to the series of data points. Actually, uh, by the curve fitting, we can mathematically construct the functional relationship between the observed set of values and the known points. What are those known points? We are going to fit this curve by uh, three methods. That is the fitting of a curve via straight line, via parabola. That is the second uh, degree polynomial and uh, the exponential curve. So, what, uh, why we are doing that and how we are doing that? For example, if we have a uh, raw data points, uh, like the if we have a production of crops from year 1990 to 2010. Then between these 20 years, you just know the average crop production yearly, for example. And that, for example, that 20 data points, the average production has been uh, placed in the form of the graphs in this form. Sometimes what happens, it takes, the, the, the you can see that the cluster of these points, it is just mathematically, if I want to estimate it, then it can take the form of a line. And sometimes it happens that sometimes this cluster of points gather in the form of a parabola. In this case, I can approximate these data points with the help of a straight line and why I am expecting that uh, straight line is to be fit over here because it is taking the form of this line and I want to find an approximate answer for this data points. Here I can estimate this cluster of points with the help of a parabola. Because the fact that I am going to estimate it with the help of a via straight line or with the help of a parabola or with the, even an exponential curve because I already know the behavior, the mathematical form of these. Like I know what is the mathematic, general mathematical form of this straight line, what is the general mathematical form of this parabola and also of an exponential curve. So I will try to estimate it with the known behavior and then I will find the values of uh, the original data points that ha have been given to me. So the main fact is now comes to this point that my intention is to make these you can see that these data points are deviated from the straight line. Deviated means points. Mera kaam yaha pe is wat kya hai? What I have to do over here is that I have to minimize these deviations. Meri koshish ye hogi ki mein ye jo points hain, jo cluster of points and straight line, in ye jo deviations, ye jo distance hai, mein usko minimize karo. Mein kaise minimize kar sakti hoon? Yani ki in deviations ko ye iske kareeb kareeb ho, taake ye jo mera error jo isme se get hoga, wo kam se kam ho. I want to minimize this error because I am just making an approximate uh, analysis for this raw set of data points with the help of this known behavior of straight line or parabola or some uh, mathematical form. So we are going to have these three ways in I can judge this behavior. And the first one is the fitting of a straight line that I'm going to discuss. And you can know that the general form of this equation is y is equals to a plus bx. 
I am going to fit this state line to those raw data points that I have already tell you, told you. And these, for example, are data points x1, y1, x2, y2, coordinate points up to n points. And I can write these deviations respectively in this form. I will sum up these deviations. You can as see that i is varying from 1 to n. And the sum of the scale of these deviations can be written in this form. And by the principle of least square method, I have to minimize these deviations I have already told you. And by doing this, I will be getting these two equations. You can see, I have to take the derivative of this equation. This capital pi is just representing a sum. There are two constants that are needed to be fine that is a and b two constants means two times i will take this derivative subject to these two constants and when i do this you can see this with respect to a and with respect to b if i take the derivative of these equations and if i set it equal to zero then i will be getting these two equations in general if i remove these i is equal to 1 to n is there is no need of writing this i is equal to 1 to n again and again however i am now uh, reaching towards the final form of these equations if i want to fit my raw data with the help of a straight line my main task is just to solve these two equations let's come to an example taaki aapko zyada achhe tarike se samajh aaye Sometimes it happens that it has uh, you, you are just given with this kind of uh, data and you have to fit it accordingly. It's your own choice whether uh, you don't know whether it's a uh, straight line has to be fit or whether a parabola has to be fit or an exponential curve. If it is given, if it is mentioned in the question, then there is... Of course, no issue because in this question, it has been given that you have to fit a straight line to this data. It means if you roughly draw these points generally, then you can see that it will cluster around a straight line. That's why we are fitting this straight line data over here. Now, what you will do, you will just make columns. First column of X and second column of Y. And now come to the questions. Over here, you can see that this is representing sum of Y. This summation is just representing the sum. Sum of Y means you have to sum up all the values of Y. N is the number of data points that have been given to you. In this case, you are given one, two, three, four, five data points that are given to you. And of course, A and B, you are going to find this. And then summation X. You have to sum up the column X and that is over here, that is 10. And this is sum of X, Y. So you have to first make this column like this x into y by just multiplying these two columns respectively. You can see that. And then in the end you will just sum up. That is equal to a summation x. Summation x is already calculated plus b summation x square. Now you have to find this column. First, you have to make this column x square by just squaring these values. You can see that 0 squares 0, 1 squares 1, 2 squares 4, 3 squares 9, and then 4 squares 16. Now, you have to sum up all these values in order to make this form, summation x square. Now, what I am going to do? I will just, you can see, whenever you have uh, a system that is consistent if you have two unknown values 
then of course you must have two unknown equations. Couple equations, two equations, and we are going to solve these equations by putting in the values. You can see summation y that is equals to n a plus b summation x that was 10. Then summation x y that is equals to a summation x plus b summation x square. Now, if you are, it's your choice, well, whichever the easiest way, if you can multiply this equation by 2, then you can see that these two values will become same and simply by subtracting, you can get the value of B. However, you will just get the value of A and B and by this, you are going to fit that straight line Y is equal to A plus BX. Actually, now you can see that this x is depending, uh, this y is depending upon this value of x. y was actually a function. This is the final form that we have given. Th th wa this was the required form. Now, where it is helpful, like here you can see that you are given the known values of x. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the corresponding behavior of the function is given over here. Now, if you want, there are two things. One is interpolation and one is extrapolation. Interpolation means if you want to find the behavior of this function between these points. Like if I am given this value 0, 1. And if I want to find the behavior of this function at x is equal to 0.2. Then or x is equal to 1.5 or 2.7 or 3.5. Then I can use, I will just put that x value over here. And then I will get the value of that y. That what would be the behavior of the function at that point. This is what is known as interpolation. If you are finding the behavior of this function between these data points. And if you want to find, for example, at x equals to 5. You can see that this is just going out of this range. So, this process is known as simply extrapolation. Of course, if you will put 5, x equals to 5 over here. Then you will be getting that value. And... Uh, Interpolation and extrapolation are very important in uh, the analysis of uh, any statistical analysis of um, data points that are needed to estimate it between the known points. Now you can see that uh, I have given these two uh, questions better. You can see that the first one is just you just have to fit a straight line. I have mentioned this that you have to find the straight line. You have to fit a straight line to this data. And uh, here these x values are given and the y values are given. And when you will fit then you answer I have already mentioned that it will be of this form. Y is equal to a minus bx. And the second question is that. You have these values and uh, the answer of this is in this form already given to you.